The Communist Manifesto. Has it already succeeded in America? We're gonna talk about the naked communists and Professor Walter Williams of George Mason University is gonna take a look at this very thing. Check it out. Be sure to subscribe and press alert to get new notifications of new success secrets made available on VFN TV. Believe it or not, we're gonna be talking about the naked <laughs> communist. <laughs> how, do you say, how do you say their name? Cleon Skousen. Yeah, because the, the professor, Walter Williams of George Mason University is saying the things that they wanted to accomplish they've already accomplished. Well, John and I had the opportunity yeah. to go back and look over one at a time. Systematically. Systematically, <laughs> you know, what the manifesto was, and we just checked it off. You know, if it was, like, if it was there, we said, check. check. As a matter of fact, we want to take you there. Ben, Dr. Ben Carson talked about it when he was running for president. Now he's over HUD, you know, Secretary of HUD, and he's saying, listen, pay attention. It's written right here by an agent. It's, he said FBI, but it's actually the CIA agent, I believe, that wrote this book, and he wrote it out exactly what they want to accomplish. What this means is, they set a goal, how do you destroy America? How do you divide America? How do you take this big thing down called America? And they have a manifesto which lists them things that you would have to do to accomplish to be able to destroy them and take in them fact, down. In fact, the author of the book who wrote, who wrote this book, he got an endorsement from President Ronald Reagan and it says no one is better qualified to discuss the, this threat to this nation from communism. As a matter of fact, listen to John and I go over one at a time. It's a powerful, powerful moment. Check it out. So the Naked Communists, John, what is this about? What is this book about? Well, reportedly, this book is, is, reveals how revolutionaries are intended to turn our nation from a constitutionalism to communism without firing a single bullet. Now, this is important because- They have it, different things set up about you know, what that would be, right? Yeah, there's 45 strategies, if you will. Right. And, and we're going to share a few of them you know, with the audience. Well, let's take a look at them now. Yeah, sure. It was written in 1963. Dr. Kitz Carson just said it was just like it was written just yesterday. Amazing. And, they, and Megyn Kelly says, people won't probably like you. They didn't have the part of the interview because of you, you actually say this. And he's going like, read the books. It's the truth. It's the truth, that. you know. And so this is actually, uh, if you can see this when we're talking about it, this first, this is what they say that you need to do to be able to turn a country from, uh, from democracy from a republic to communism mm -hmm. without firing a shot. And this was written in the 60s now. 1963, okay. but it seems like it just somebody wrote it today because this is what's happening right yeah. now. What's this first one? Get control of the schools. Use them as transmission belts for socialism and current communist propaganda. Soften the cu curriculum and get control of teachers' associations. Put the party line in textbooks. This is exactly what's already happened yeah. already. Yeah. You know, with Common Core, with all the things that are happening in the school, it's like the school system, including the universities, mm -hmm. are Big being time. used against the country. Absolutely. And they're training folks up. They literally have classes how to protest the government, uh, how, specifically how to protest President Trump. An uh, actual course. A course that they have this. on the area. Right. And then they have conservative speakers that have been going to um, universities in California and different ones. But they've well, been, they've been banned. I mean, there's some But they're, throwing, they're starting fires, they're throwing mailboxes yeah. at it, and they've already ignited then the hearts of our young with education, the curriculum. They've already done that. Yeah. And the textbooks, it's amazing what's taking place. So that's check. Done. Done. Right. How to turn a country from democracy to communism. To communism. So that's check, right? Okay. okay. What's the second thing? Another one here is gain control of all student newspapers. Check. That's an easy one. All right, done. check. Go to the all phone. right, next one. Use student riots to foment public protests against programs or organizations that are under communist attack. Oh, is that not taking place? Yeah, you look at every college campus right now, not every, but many college campuses, they're protesting about everything. And not only that, they're having illegal aliens on the campus and say that we are a place of refuge. It's like, no, you're actually a federal funded thing by the tax exactly. dollars. Exactly. And your mom is paying for America. your, and your mom is paying for the other half of the education. You need to go back to school. That's right. But we saw people on the streets protesting and stuff. These were college students that they yeah. trained. To, so that's actually happening. So I would say, so check. check. All okay. right. Next one, infiltrate the press. Get control of book review assignments, editorial writing, policy making positions. Well, that hadn't happened. No, of course not. <laughs> right. I mean, it's think it's about this. press as we know it is of over course, it. Of course. They've totally infiltrated, and these, they really know what they're doing. I mean, they know they're saying it's not true, but they continue to say the narrative over and over again. And Linsky says, if you repeat a lie long enough, Saul Linsky, the rules yeah. for radicals, uh, if you repeat a lie long enough, people begin to believe it is truth, right? Right. So right. that's check. They've got. Yeah, that's, I believe Hitler said that as well too. And yes. uh, he, he told Ger a lot of lies. Or 
Okay. Yeah, Gerbils. Check. Okay. Check. Done. All right. Next one. Gain control of key positions in radio, TV, and motion pictures. No. Check. <laughs> That's a check. But this is, I mean, think you about You can't even this. watch PBS today without that being it's like, is this a communist program going? Are you promoting the takedown of our government? Are my taxpayer, taxpayer taking dollars going to 60 minutes, all these programs, CNN. All, but look like, at the movies, too. I yeah, mean, it's, it's, right? it's all, all going that way. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Here's the next one. Eliminate all laws governing obscenity by calling them censorship and a violation of free speech and free press. In other words, an actual law that's legal, they're saying that, is obscenity. The law itself is like a cross in Pensacola, Florida yeah. at Bayview <laughs> Park where a judge says that's obscenity yeah. and they take the cross down. In but Pensacola, they're saying Florida. it's okay. Don't put a law against obscenity because if you do, we're going to say that you're censoring our free speech. Now, this was written in 1963 by an FBI agent. Uh, how to, what's the, what's the plan? What is the strategy to be able to take a country from, from freedom and democracy to a Communism. communist? Government. Yeah. And we're saying check. This is the sixth one. That, yes. I would say check. Check, for All sure. Right. What's the next one? Here's the next one. Next one. Break down cultural standards of morality by promoting pornography, obscenity in books, magazines, motion pictures, radio, and TV. And that hadn't happened. Has internet happened? wasn't around, but you would say internet today, right? Does that happen? Of course it's happened. I don't know. It has happened. It check. Is like, that's a huge check. Yeah. So far, it's 100%, John. Absolutely. Okay. Here's the next one. Uh, present homosexuality, degeneracy, and promiscuity as normal, natural, and healthy. Check. Check. We have Check. gay marriage. We have all this. Uh, Pornography running there's rampant. There's 96 something uh, genders now. Like they say, there's instead of two yeah. genders, there's like, I don't know what you call it. Yeah, them, but the thing is, yeah. but, and they're hitting it just right that it's normal. No, right. this stuff is not normal. Right. And when you go in the bathroom today, you got to think. Yeah, exactly. Is this, you know, What's you don't even know. Here? You got to make yeah. sure that things are right. You don't know where it is. And it's like, it's become normal, you right. know, and so. And normal and then, and then you're threatened if you think, think no, or say otherwise. Normal, right. Yeah. And so I would say check. Check. Okay. Done. All right. Here's yes. another one. Eliminate prayer or any phrase of religious expression in the school, on the grounds, that it violates the principle of separation in church and state. So no prayer in schools. Mm, check. check. Done. It's amazing. This is one of the yeah. strategies. To be, you move, got, remove God out of the schools. Okay, what's the next one? Here's the next one. Discredit the American Constitution. We're talking about, you know, this is important to remember in case you forgot, you know, the strategy, according to a book written by the FBI agent in 1963, and Dr. Carson says it's just like it was written yesterday, that how do you turn a democracy to a communist? How do you get rid of freedom? and turn it into a, a communist government, right. and we're seeing it take place. These come from a book called The Naked uh, Communist. The Naked Communist, and these are different strategies. And what's this next strategy? Discredit the American Constitution by calling it inadequate, old-fashioned, out of step with modern needs, a hindrance to cooperation between nations on a worldwide basis. Our very own former president mm. stated that it is a list of negative rights and began to talk as less about the very thing you're swore to defend. A Supreme Court Justice, Ruth Ginsburg, said to yeah, a nation that was yeah, forming, yeah. this is an outdated document. Don't use it for your Don't country. Don't use it. Find and, another And their job, law. it says, they swear to protect the Constitution of the United States, the whole purpose of them being there. All laws are based on the Constitution. That's exactly it. Without the Constitution, without, without the Constitution, there's no laws, and without God, there's no obedience to those laws, what right. we're talking about. And so you're seeing that. We got, let's cover one more before we go okay, to the break here. Here's another one. Discredit the American founding fathers. Present them as selfish aristocrats who had no concern for the common man. That's a, and so that's they've so have done that man, over and over again. You know, yeah. they've they've just. I've never heard so many bad things about individuals before. Yeah, they're, they're full of you know bigotry and stuff like that. It's not true. These these right. these men are to be honored. To be honored, and they're the founding fathers. They're the ones that signed the Constitution. They're we ones have that, a country because of them. They risk their lives yeah. and their liberties and their wealth to be able to have a country that we have today. Yeah. And Belittle all forms of American culture, and discourage the teaching of American history, on the ground that it was only a minor part of the big picture. And I just heard uh, that uh, David Barton with Wall Builders, mm. he has a two-week crash course on it, true American history. Really? It starts with absolute truth, which that's what the, everybody's trying to pull out of it. They have people these, they're, yeah. they're in the dark here. And so uh, history majors, John, when they've graduated with a four-year degree, 
they're going to get their master's, master's degree in history to go teach people. And she said to uh, uh, David Barton that uh, they stopped teaching history to her in the eighth grade. And Amazing. the history they teach is like the history of goofy stuff. Nothing like a, yeah. nothing like a, importance <laughs> uh, like this yeah you know and they're doing it so i would say check, check. okay right. here's another one support any socialist movement to give centralized control over any part of the culture education social agencies welfare programs mental health clinics and others check check well you're looking to at uh, the nea the national education association that you know the things that they're doing and uh, they said they don't listen to us because we love kids. They don't listen. This is the president, mm -hmm. reportedly. We had him on. I had him on. Former yeah. president of NEA. They don't listen to us because I don't know if it was the president, but it was a person they had at the podium at the National Education Association. Okay. They don't listen to us because we love kids. They don't listen to us because we're good at education. He went through different things. He says, they listen to us because we got money. We have like a million members yes. that pay this much money. Yes. And it gives us this much power. And you're looking. That would be a check. check. Yeah. Okay. Check. Plus other organizations as oh, well. That's tons just of one. Them. Yeah. If we had more time, we We'd could really go in, quickly. We could go in length on this. Yes. Here's another one: discredit the family as an institution, and encourage promiscuity and easy divorce. You know the thing about this, John, that, that bothers me is because there is absolute truth, and there are huge consequences for not following truth. That's one thing. Eternal David, consequences. Yes, yeah, local and reg regional, local and eternal. Yeah. But, you know, uh, David Barton talked about that when he was teaching history, and they were shocked. The students were shocked to find out that there's consequences. Hmm. But if there is no truth and there is no absolutes, then this stuff plays off. They had to remove these absolutes. Create the impression that violence and insurrection are legitimate aspects of the American tradition that students and special interest groups should rise up and use united force to solve an economic political and social problems. That is so powerful, isn't it? So we went over that before. He's talking about those things that have been accomplished already. We hmm. saw they're accomplished. But the thing about it, you know, nothing's over until God says it's over. But yeah. we got to wake up to that reality. We want to hear from your com We want to hear your comments. We wanna, want you to write to us. Let us know. Isn't it pretty surprising and shocking? Maybe you knew this already. But now we're broadcasting it around the world and around America to let people know we need to wake up that this is people actually want to take down America. The secret is out. The secret is out. Be sure to subscribe and press alert to get new notifications of new success secrets made available on VFN TV. You know, a lot of people want to abide with the Lord, but they just don't have a plan to do it. You can request that plan today at iabide.org. I'm your host, Greg Lancaster, and we're so glad that you've joined us. Don't forget you can join us 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Download our app and sign up for our newsletter, The Torch, at vfntv.com. I've enjoyed our time together. God bless.